Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about divisibility by 8. So what is that rule that tells us whether a number is divisible by 8 or not? So a number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. Now, do you feel that this rule is little similar to the divisibility rule by 4? Now, in divisibility by 4, we used to check for the last two digits. And in divisibility by 8, we check for the last three digits. But otherwise, the concept is the same. Let us take an example. Let's say that you have a number 8921 and you have to decide whether this number is divisible by 8 or not. So what you need to do, you need to find out by actual division whether the last three digits that is 921 is divisible by 8 or not. So what you do, you divide 921 by 8. So you get it as something like this. So basically this shows that you have a remainder here and therefore 921 is not divisible by 8. Therefore this number is also not divisible by 8. Now here you might have a question in your mind that okay in this case let's say if we have a three digit number. So in that case what will I do? if I have to find out if that number is divisible by 8 or not. Well, this divisibility rule by of 8 applies mostly for bigger numbers because if it is a three digit number, you anyways need to find it out by actual division. So this rule applies or this rule is helpful for four digit number or bigger numbers. Now let us look at a bigger number like this. Let's say you have 1, 4, 5, 6, 2. So this is 14,562. So here instead of dividing this five digit number, all you need to do is just divide this part. So basically you divide 562 by 8 and what do you get? So here also you see that there is a remainder left which shows that this is not divisible by 8. So in this way, we find out divisibility by 8. Now, like all other cases, let us see how this divisibility rule works. Why are we interested in the last three digits only? So let us take the same example of this number 14562, 14,562. The moment we expand this number, we get 1 into 10,000 plus 4 into 1,000 plus 5 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 2 into 1. So this is the expansion of the number. Now, what is the trick that we will be using here? So in this case, we have to handle these numbers 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Now, do you think that 10 is divisible by 8? No. Do you think 100 is divisible by 8? No. Do you think 1000 is divisible by 8? If you want, you can quickly do the actual division and find out. So what do you see? 1000 is exactly divisible by 8. So now this 1000 is divisible by 8. That means any multiple of 1000 will be divisible by 8, right? So 1000 is divisible by 8. Now, if 1000 is divisible by 8, then any multiple of 1000, that means you multiply anything with 1000, but that will also be divisible by 8. So you see here also we are applying the same concept as we did for divisibility by 4. But in that case, 100 was divisible by 4. So it happened at an earlier stage. In this case, 1000 is divisible by 8. So therefore, what we can say, when we look at these numbers, we can say that this part will be divisible by 8. This part will also be divisible by 8. So what are we left with? So we are basically left with this part. And what is this part? This part refers to the last three digits. 
So 5 into 100 is 500 plus 6 into 10 that is 60 plus 2 into 1 that is 2. So 562. So 562 is basically the last three digits. So these are the th these three digits are the ones for which we need to check by actual division if they are divisible by 8 or not. So this is how the divisibility rule for 8 works. So let us quickly see if these numbers are divisible by 8 or not. So the first number is 2456. So let us focus on the last three digits that is 456. So when you actually divide 456 by 8, so what do you get? It is 8 fives of 40. So this is 56. So this is 8 sevens of 56. So here it is divisible by 8 and therefore this number as a whole is also divisible by 8. Let us look at the next number. It is 10512760. So again, we will just focus on the last three digits. That is 760. Now, if you actually divide 760 by 8, what do you get? 8 nines are 72. So this is 40. 8 fives are 40. And this is also divisible. 760 is also divisible by 8. Therefore, this entire number is also divisible by 8. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.